Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a beginner's guitar lesson on how to play power chords or bar chords. Power chords meaning you're using a lot of power and grid. It's typically used for hard rock and metal, and you're using a technique called the bar chord to do it. Uh, I'm using a tone here called Metal. It's uh, Metal by Steve Guitar. It's a free tone that you can download, and it's made for the Fender uh, Mustang GTX and GT Amplifier series. You can download it here in the uh, description notes on this video and also in the Connect area of Fender's website. I've got a bunch of different tones there on all types of genres. Hit subscribe below for more tones, tips, gear reviews, and guitar lessons like this. All right, let's get started. All right, now to play a power chord, you can do it in a variety of different ways. Uh, the two main ways or two main areas that you see people play it is the A chord or an E chord. Now, they use the same shape and because they both use the exact same shape just on different strings, you can also take that shape and apply it anywhere else. So here's a G, and here's an A, and here's a C. So you go all up and down the fretboard and you're using the same shape, which is really cool. So in other words, once you really get it, you can go anywhere and you can make all types of music. And especially when you're dealing with an overdriven tone like this, you really get that grit and that metal and that sort of rock to it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play an A chord, but I'm not gonna play a regular A chord with two or three fingers on the second fret. And I'm not, I'm not gonna hit this note and I'm not gonna hit the sixth note. What I'm really gonna do, I'm gonna concentrate on hitting the fifth string open, fifth string open. Then I'm gonna lay my finger down or I'm gonna bar it. You turn your finger sort of into a bar and I'm gonna put it on the second fret and I'm gonna play the fourth and the third string. Now I could play the second string, uh, but it's really in the low notes or the bass notes is really where you get the power for these chords like that. Now. Uh, to mute the sixth string down there, I usually bring my thumb around. It just sort of mutes it and stops it uh, right there from clanking out like that. Um, like that. So I'm going to, again, play an A. Uh, those three notes right there. Fifth string, and then uh, fourth string, and third string. So I'm barring it. Now. You can, you can hit it out, or you can do what I do a lot here is palm muting. I've got another video on how to do palm muting, but you basically set your palm right there. So check out that video. So already you're getting that good rock kind of tone. Well, where the magic happens is when you use another bar on a different uh, set of frets. So for example, if I play that exact same shape that I had here, which is basically uh, the equivalent of open, meaning uh, it's sort of like putting my finger right there and putting uh, two fingers right there. See that? I'm sort of using that kind of shape. That's another way you could think of playing it. Well, if you move that up three frets, now you're playing that same shape on the C. Uh, I'll show you another way. If I put my first finger on the third fret of the fifth string, and then I take my third finger and do that same barring technique, this time I'm using a different finger, and I'm doing it on the fifth fret, and I'm only hitting these two notes. If I hit that one, it's okay. This is the third finger, fourth string on the fifth fret, and the third string on the fifth fret. So again. So that's a C. That's a C chord right there. It's a bar chord. And so again, if I play the A, and I'm getting ready, third finger, fifth fret, uh, sorry, third finger, third fret, fifth string, and then I'm gonna take the, uh, gosh, sorry, first finger, third fret, fifth string, <laughs> uh, third finger, fifth fret, fourth and third strings, and that's it, so. Now what's cool is you can now take that anywhere. So I can slide it up and go two more frets. Now I'm playing a D. Now I can take it to E, and back to A. So it's the same shape, same shape. So uh, let's show uh, another place that you can do it. We're gonna go down to E. This time we're doing the exact same thing. We're just gonna take our finger from there 
and move it there. So you're taking your finger and going from the fourth, third, sort of second string on the second fret to bar it, and you're just gonna move it, and you're now uh, on the second fret hitting the fifth and the fourth strings. This one you don't really, you, you don't wanna do that because we're really playing an E. So we're gonna hit the open E down here, and then we're gonna hit the fifth and fourth like that. That good low E right there. And then again, if you bring up your fingers, I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the other strings. Instead of A to C, that's an E chord. And now we go to G. Now we're gonna go up two more, and we'll be at A. C. And uh, that is D. And now, now we're a full octave up from E right there. So again, go anywhere you want. So let me show you a couple other tricks and tips around this. Uh, I'm going to go back to A and you can do uh, slide ups like this. So I hit the A, I go to the C and then I hit the C once and slide it up. Okay, you can do a double slide like this. A uh, double slide meaning you go up and back with only one hit of the uh, of the um, pick. Okay, you can also do a little slide down instead of up like this. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the sixth fret and go hit it once with my right hand and pull it down to the fifth fret. So check it out really fast. Pretty cool. Uh, another option is to do an octave uh, and just go crazy octave. So I'm gonna go down to, let's start with an E chord this time. So all I did was play the E I took that exact same shape, same shape we've been doing over and over again, took it up to the 12th fret, hit it once, I even brought it back down two to D, and slid it up back to the uh, 12th fret right there, and then I came down and popped my E. Last thing I'll show you for today is the idea of bending too. Uh, you can get these cool effects when you bend them. So if I was on the G, um, I'm, I'm still gonna play on the E, but if I hit the G, you're gonna be sort of like pull them upward. Like that, ready? Sort of big pick at the end there. All right, so that's a look at bar chords or power chords for rock and metal. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe today for more guitar lessons like this, along with more tones for the Fender Mustang GTX and GT Amplifier Series, gear reviews, and a whole bunch more. Thanks, see ya.